only me. I swear. <clears throat> well, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what's going on next door with that uh, trailer. Oh, Kimba, she's been sleeping for two hours straight. I start talking and she's got to go get something to drink. So anyway, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with the trailer next door. I reached out to my real estate agent immediately after I got done making that video of me sitting in my truck because I needed to move it. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to sit here and eyeball them and see what happens while I was moving the truck. And <clears throat> basically, I was trying to keep myself busy so I didn't get in trouble. See, the thing is, when you're broke like me, man, this is how it is. I've been sitting here stewing all day over this situation because in my mind, I'm back in the fucking mobile home park with a fucking motor home with a fucking camera pointed into my backyard, right? And I'm right there again. And my temper starts going. I can feel my heart beat in my throat. I can feel a tightness in my chest, right? Like uh, the whole fight or flight thing. Like I'm, you know, I want to go over there and get in a fight. Not a fist fight, but an argument. <clears throat> and the thing is, I called and left a message with that real estate lady. When that sign first went up, never called me back. You know, I reached out to my real estate agent again today. Like I said, he said he's going to find out what's up. But he said he was going to find out what was up weeks ago. And here I am. I'm in this situation now. According to my agent, he says, well, Nobody's, uh, they haven't accepted an offer yet. It's not in the computer. I'm like, okay, because are you, are you willing to make an offer? And I said, well, you tell me, what's it, what's it worth? And I said, look, man, the thing, I've looked at the comps. The thing's not worth more than 10 or 15 grand max. I go, and I'm not comfortable paying any more than 20. So if you want to put in an offer for me for 20 grand, I can come up with 20 grand. So he said, okay, I'll call him. So I'm waiting to hear if my offer was accepted for 20 grand. And if whoever was just over there, were they there to buy it? You know, are they there to scrap the thing? My gut tells me they were there to buy it. And my instinct tells me I'm in deep shit already. I think they probably already put in an offer and it's more than 20 grand. Because they dropped the price on the first. Today is the third. They dropped the price a couple days ago, Memorial Weekend, right? And so the fact that they were there today, I bet you they put in an offer. And the thing is, they were there without a real estate agent. That means the listing agent will get to double dip. That means they don't have to split the commission. And so it would seem to me that the agent that was showing that property is probably more motivated to sell it to that person than to me, because if they sell it to me, they got to split the commission. And commission on 50 grand, I mean, fuck, you're talking pennies, man. It ain't nothing. 
even if it was 10%, you're talking five grand and it's not 10%, it's less than that. So anyway, I'm uh, anger management, right? I made my one phone call to my agent. I'm gonna let him do his job. I told him, I said, man, you know, I don't know what's going on, why I didn't hear back. I go, I don't know what's going on with the people that used to live here. I go, I don't know what's up with the dude in the back corner. I go, it'd be nice to meet this dude at least one time so that if I run into him out in the woods, right? At least we've met. I go, but if he doesn't want nothing to do with me, it'd be nice to know that too. So that if we come across each other in the woods and he don't want nothing to do with me, it'd be nice to know ahead of time. I go, the fact is, I think he's tapped into maple trees that are on my property, which is fine with me as long as we've met and we're friendly. Now, if he don't care for me, get your fucking shit off my property now. Plain and simple. I ain't about to do nobody no favors that, that got no love for Johnny. Fuck you. So, for some reason, I have a feeling the, the people that were over there looking at that trailer are part of this large family, is my gut instinct. Who else would be over there looking? <laughs> Why would anybody want to buy a home in my front yard when they know I got them surrounded, right? I own the property on three sides of that fucking dump. And if I fence it off, well, I've done them a favor, right? I fenced their whole property for them. Yeah, it's great. Now I don't have to see them and I don't have to worry about them trespassing, but that's a lot of money, right? I'm not trying to stare at a fucking fence. And I'm not trying to lose my temper. I'm not trying to fall prey to my old habits, right? And, and lose my shit because I'm this angry, busted up foster child with these bad anger issues, right? <clears throat> this complex PTSD, right? This fight, flight, or fright, whatever mode you're stuck in for life, right? It's, 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 <laughs> it's the real deal, man. Trust me. Because I'm so emotional right now, right? And, and, and it's like, man, I'm so mad. I want to cry, right? It's like that, that I'm even sitting here thinking about these things. You know, I could, I, that fucking house is so close that if their little kid was yelling and screaming, I'd hear him while I was trying to sleep, right? So this is what you look like when you're broken, right? You get to, see, I'm showing you exactly what it's like. I'm stewing so bad right now. You gonna come up, little dog? You gonna come up? Come on, it's okay. Like always, man. My little doggie, she knows when Papa's upset. <laughs> uh, funny thing is, I wasn't even yelling and screaming. Normally, I gotta be yelling and screaming for her to uh, <laughs> shut me down. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Yes, I love you. <laughs> My baby dog. All right, y'all. All right, come on, lay down, please. <clears throat> I didn't want uh, any of our misfit family members to worry that Johnny's going to lose his shit over this thing. I'm not. I'm keeping my cool, but this is what it's like being broken, man. You have this constant battle with these emotions that you shouldn't have, right? I shouldn't be this angry right now over this situation. 
I should be thinking about how cool and nice this place is no matter what. But <clears throat> the, the underlying dynamics that I know about this family and that I know about this neighborhood and the way <laughs> I'm situated with this property all right, you're fidgeting too much. It really puts me in a uh, in a tough spot. And I know that's why this property sat up for sale for so long. I'm sure of it now, right? This mess that I got. And it's all right. I'll work through it like I've worked through everything else. And uh, if this fucking shit blows up, if <laughs> if some of my crazy comes to fruition and this family moves in next door and it's uh, upsetting, I'll leave. I'm not going to stay here and be miserable beefing, right? No, I take that back. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going to get chased off. I don't want beef. I really, I don't. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to resolve that this situation. That's what I'm saying. This is my broken, right? I immediately get all these fucked up ideas in my head. You know, putting up a fence and... I don't know. I, I was having a good day just yesterday, right? And all I want to do is a fucking pit bull sanctuary, right? I'm not trying to have no fucking neighbors. I don't know these people. Maybe they're real sweet and nice and whatever, you know? This just, this whole fucking thing stinks really bad. It does. It has from the beginning. Every time I tried to get answers about that fucking trailer, I got stonewalled everywhere I went. And I went to the auction. Remember the video of me going to the auction to buy that motherfucker? Back in April, I think. Yeah, March, April, something. A couple months ago, right? When they were asking 40 grand, 39 grand, and now they're... They dropped the price back down to 39 from 49. So they're trying to break even on what they're owed on the loan. I understand all that. But why the fuck didn't you call me? That I don't understand. So anyway, you know, I know I told you no more horror stories and no more war stories and all that shit, but this ain't a war story this is in the moment right this 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 is fuck man life real life right mi vida loca orale all right i'm gonna get off the gadget go love on my dogs or do something try to change my mood and get my wheels to quit spinning because it's not good for me to be thinking too much right now. And I called my real estate agent hours ago. He ain't got back to me. So that that's not good news. You know, if it was good news, he would have had something for me right away. Anyway, wish me luck. This is a fucked up deal. It really, it is. I don't need to be Hatfields and McCoy. I need to be happy. I just, yeah. All right. Anyway, we'll talk. Peace.